Du, 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 Never mind. Welcome to our Boxing Day video. Hi guys, it's Boxing Day for us. Not for you, but for us. Oh, we're still pigged out from food. Oh, just gonna say how we're going out for lunch. Wait, you really smart. I'm hungry. And we'll go and look at some um, hungry Boxing Day sales. So it's Boxing Day morning. His mum and dad have gone home. They've gone home quick because my dad like my dad um, goes to a boxing uh, a, a boxing <laughs> no a rugby. rugby match on Boxing Day. So he's gone home for that. Kids gonna, are still here all the yeah. at Westwood, but they are going this morning. We're so gonna go and say hello to them. First, yeah, though. and we'll take the chair back that suddenly miraculously appeared from the Westwood here. Before we go out anywhere, I'm gonna quickly, just very very quickly, show you what we got for Christmas. There's a lot of the usual stuff like socks, oh they're travel socks for when we go to Florida and of course, yes Ryan and Aiden, we do wear and use links because we get it more for Christmas no, there's nothing well, wrong with we links do, we do buy it anyway there's nothing wrong with links oh, we, only use well. we saw this yesterday but this is what um, I'm going to be wearing in almost every Florida vlog Disneyland Paris oh is that where it's from? oh yeah, it's the same hat, I'll just unstitch that bit maybe no, I'll be wearing that all, all Florida vlogmas uh, not vlogmas. <laughs> All Florida vlogs. vlogs. Are you going to call it Florida? <laughs> did we show this yesterday? Uh, Can't remember uh, if we did or not, but we, we, just we take... put it on social media on yeah. a picture. So, so this is a really, really good. This. Yeah. Because this is from our friends Harry and Sa Harry, Harry, Harry and Sarah. Hi, Harry and Sarah. If Hi. you're watching. Thank you for the uh, the clapperboard. Yeah. Which we're going to use now on a few of our videos. And as you can see, we we chalked it up yesterday with Vlogmas Day 25 scene one take nine 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 which is typically for us clapper it then so do you think you could fit your neck you, in I'm it just gonna say, could you think fit your neck in it give it a try yeah now nick this is probably i imagine one of nick's favorite presents now this my mum could not have picked a better present for me because as you know i absolutely love cinnamon from smells but i also love Cinnabons, yeah. and this is actually a homemade cinnabon type kit and it's yeah. got everything in there you just need to add milk i think so it's got the cinnamon. It's not. got. Well, I can't smell. It. I can't smell it. Yeah. Why? Well, I can't smell it. Smells like cinnamon. Ooh. So I can't wait to do that. I'm actually going to do that when we come back from Florida. I'm not going to do it before we go. Yes. Well, also you've still got from last year the cheese, cheese making kit, so we can do both those in a video. That's probably out of date now. From a year old. You best not be. So we got lots of things to make things with Thai masaman curry, whatever that is. Street what? kitchen. That masaman. Um, Malaysian peanut satay pie, pad thai. Another one there, tikka masala tikka <laughs> meal kit. You want me to do this? So that's a, oh, and look at this. Better make sure that we don't get this mixed up. It's gin bubble bath. So don't be putting that in your uh, gin I glass when you're a bit drunk. Gin, then. I would have poured a glass of that and, and put some tonic uh, in it. Some more sauces. Your mum kind of got us some Amazon gift vouchers. Look some at this. gin. Look at this. Yep. A diffuser. Yep. A diffuser. I've been bought a Chocolates. diffuser. Anybody who think I like diffusers, I mean, what gives people that impression? Erin Sarah got me my favourite drink. Grand Marnier. <sighs> Thanks, guys. They know me well. Well, not just for me, it's for me and Nick, but we'll see. We've got some doodle things to do on the plane when we go to Florida. Some gin. Uh, you got some brandy. Toffee fee. Oh, go on then. I'll have a toffee fee. Uh, and then Nick's mum kind of got us a couple of hampers. And our, and our friends Jackie and Richard, who are in Spain at the moment, uh, got us these gin glasses, which are really nice. Uh, they go with all the furniture in the lodge. So that was a very quick little what we got for Christmas. Where's mine? You're Cameron. Thank you. I'm Cameron. Mm. Oh, right. So we are actually going to go home tomorrow. So you'll see that in the, the next vlog. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. So that's the birthday card I've got him. The old man. And then there's a little joke there, which you can read. And I got him this cognac, Remy Martin. Was it brandy, Nick? Yeah. So that's his favourite, apparently. So there you go. Right, are we going to so, go out now? Two minutes. So I'm just currently editing the best of Vlogmas video. It's quite a long video, so if you've not seen it... It's out on our channel already. It's out on our channel already, so just wind, wind back onto it on your whatever you're watching it on and look for best of Vlogmas. Yeah. If you missed any episodes or anything like that, that's a real good video. You get to catch up. And it's quite it's quite sad in parts. It's not sad, it will, but it's, emotional. It's, yeah, it will probably make you cry for the Christmas Day scene. I keep sort of filling up every time I watch it because it's a bit... There's all these memories and we've captured it really well and the music goes well. So check that out and let's get on with our day. Yeah, so quick look at you. Just look at that for a... Oh, you're not starting with no, that already. No, look at that for Boxing Day. It's beautiful. And for any um, new subscribers, any new lodgers, any new viewers, this is our view that we get out of our window. And you can get to see that 
on every vlog. So click the subscribe button and join and the Lodgy family. Just do it on every vlog as well. Right, so let's go out, let's go see the girls and um, let's get a snack and uh, enjoy our Boxing Day. All right, let's go. Right, first stop the Westwood to see the girls. And second stop, a few sales. shops for the Boxing Day sales. Now we're not stupid, we don't go nuts and go into like city centres. What? We're not silly and we don't go into like cities for Boxing Day. Because well, we could do I suppose. You get lost. Uh, I'll drop you off. We just go to a local uh, outlet, about a half an hour drive or so. We're going to the works. Let's just because say, works, say yeah. it where it is. You go into the works. Yeah, but it's good. But you go to the works every time we go shopping anyway. It's good for Christmas Day presents and birthday presents for the rest of the year because they sell stuff off for like a pound. Remember last year I got a Madonna book for 10 pence. Where's that now? It's over in the Westwood. I read it all last January. It's in the Westwood, Westwood. Yeah. Blocking, or, blocking a floor vent. Well, that's because you used it for I that. I suppose it was cheaper than a piece of plastic to block the floor vent. Yeah, but it was a nice book and I read it all last January in the Westwood. So maybe I'll get something today to occupy me in the Westwood. Well, Granddad took all your presents home. What's happening in here? That you left in the lodge. Are you two ready for home? Yeah! Are you? Where are we going in three weeks time? Disney World! Disney World! She knows better than you! You have to think about it. Maybe we should just let her swim with the dolphins then instead of you, if you can't remember. Do you want to swim with the dolphins? You've got your mini, your mini um, bag already. Yeah. To get on the plane. I hope you're not going to be scared when you go on that aeroplane for the first time ever. Have you got your advent calendar? For your Disney? Have you got your Disney advent? And have you crossed off number 26? No more chock chocks. If you don't cross them off, you can't go. I mean, Mummy, we need to cross off 26. Right, that's goodbye said to the girls. Next stop, Boxing Day sales. Right, so Nick, because you've just you've just decided that you're quite happy to be here because you're going into your favourite shop. There might be some on sale. They might be selling diffusers off. You just said to me, "Oh, there might be some on sale." To try and get me to go. Yeah, this is your favourite shop. Go and get your diffusers in sale. Go on. Ooh, Crimbo sale! Yay! Oh my God! Sale! Everything must go in the works. Get lost! Come on, quickly! Quickly! Not passing here. Not coming in. Oh, Not a chance. How exciting. <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Everything must go. Yay. Yeah, yeah, we must go home. <laughs> right, come on. Get it done, mate. What do you think to this, Nick? You don't want to know what I think. I quite like these. The only £1.50. Santa hat will be an inflatable. Extra time editing if you ask me what that part I think to them. Hmm. Are you having fun, Nick? Are you having fun? I found you something in sale. Go on then. Bullshit button. Yeah, yeah. I can, press, one I can press it every time you open your mouth. Meet, 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 meet. Found you some, Nick. In fact, I think you might have read, might, might have wrote this book, the Pocket Encyclopedia of Aggravation. Ninety-seven things that annoy, bother, chafe, disturb, frustrate, great, stress you out, and <laughs> off. <laughs> Did you actually write that book? Mm, no, but I might. <laughs> Rustling sweet wrappers. Procrastination. Definitely. Freaking hell. I did write it. Like, it's like your autobiography, that, yeah. that book. Yes, what do you want to show me? Interrupting it all, let me finish my sentence or you die. I'm yeah, buying it. That's what you do I'm all the time. It's £1.50, I want that. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. Because she always interrupts me. Mm. But you only put in when I interrupt you. Yeah, I brought you. I found you another one, Nick. How to be happy. I think you should buy that one too. No, I'm not happy about that. Hmm. I can't believe I've bought nothing and you've come out with the purchase. You found it. There's actually there's some quite interesting ones in here. And all the facts behind why, why it annoys people as well. So I'll be interested to see why. Everything annoys you? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we'll I'll have a little peruse of that book when we get back to the there's, lodge and I'll ask you a few. There's one in there that just says, why is it? Why do um, aluminium foil on dental fillings hurt? And I've just read the explanation. That's not annoying it, though. It's f when you have them on your teeth. Trust me. How come Christmas shops, now that it's after Christmas, just don't feel right? Because it's not Christmas anymore. It's just, I've had enough of all this now. Me too. And maybe it's Vlogmas that's burnt to that. <laughs> Christmas spirit. No, we've, I've enjoyed it's it. Drained, but I, yeah, we've, like, we've, we've took some of the Christmas spirit from next year and used it in this Vlogmas because it's been that spectacular. Do you know what I mean? Oh yes, yeah, spectacular. Do you still I'm like these? Do you still like these? Or? Yeah, I could sit and watch them all year. You stay there then and I'll go and enjoy myself. Bye. Isn't that uh, pretty, Nick? What? Just looking for power switch. To turn it off? Yes, it's Christmas is done, you need switching off. Yeah. Are you engrossed in that annoying book? Yeah, 95% of it annoys me. 97 things that annoy Nick. 97? 
Yeah. Oh, well, there's about 92 of them that, that I've already picked out this meal. <laughs> right, it's time for uh, a lunch break. I've got us a uh, maple pecan crunch to share. I like that now. Right, we're having the pre, I should say, after Christmas tidy up of the cupboard so that we can fit all the new stuff in. You're doing a good job there. Thanks. Got all these new um, sachets and things that we've, meals that we've got to cook. Um, Maybe even I can cook some of those. Got all these so things. we've got canned foods, cooking packs and saucers. We've got breakfast and pickles. Mary, I love that, look inside our cupboards. Hi Mary, one of our patrons in America. All these things that came from the hamper that you mum bought, that looks nice. Melt in the middle chocolate bomb. I do recall last year's chocolate bomb never got egged. Well, we could have that tonight and it'll definitely Ooh, get eaten. Yeah. I'll allow you to make me a cup of tea. Right, yeah. Shall I use other brush that stuck out my ass? It only looks, Lodgers, like Nick always does the work because I'm the one with the camera in my hand. He doesn't, Lodgers. Nick does do all the work. Lee complains and says he does, but the camera never catches it. I now stop. He's saying, I'm always filming. I stop doing what I'm doing to pick the camera up. <laughs> I was helping Nick. I was bringing all this across he's got there. More excuses than Ryan and Aiden. Hmm. Oh, shall we watch their Christmas Day video? Oh, they haven't uploaded one. Oh. What a vlogmas fail. What a vlogmas fail. Look at this. What my my sister bought me. She obviously knows that I like Kit Kats. Kit Kats are one of my favourite chocolates. So there's all sorts of different Kit Kats in. Lemon drizzle, dark mint. Well, it's just a combination actually of lemon drizzle and dark mint Kit Kats. Hands off my Kit Kats, you. Oh, I don't like Kit Kats. Not when there's some better available. Well, good. I'll have yours as well, what she bought you. That'd be nice to tell her that you don't like yeah, it. because I've had your uh, dairy milk. <laughs> Oh, let me just show you this actually. So I think my mum asked. No, I just want to show people this. My mum or my sister bought us this. And it's a it's a cork. Um, yeah, a cork. You put it in a gin bottle or whatever bottle. When it's empty. Yeah. And it's got lights on it and then you turn it on. So your gin bottle lights up so you can make it into an ornament. So we're going to have to keep one of these bo nice bottles we've got. We've got to empty one first, which shouldn't be a problem. What is there? You're pouring the um, coffee into there. Right, let's get a move on. Okay guys, I'm just chilling on the Nintendo Switch. And for anybody who's got a Nintendo Switch, you've got to get this game. If you've not played it before, it's Mario Rabbids Battle some or other. Look how cute the graphics are. Look at Mario and Luigi. It's fantastic, so check that out if you've got a Switch. Cooking again, Nick, cooking again. I am, I'm always cooking. Right, so we're having, me, Delia. We're having the um, same meal as we had on Christmas Eve. Butternut squash and chorizo. At least request because it's risotto. Really like yeah. And actually, we've had some lodgers asking for the recipe, so Nick's going to put it in the comments or the, the description of this video. So, well, it's going to be in the other video as well. Oh, my eyes have gone. Oh, there's shallots, shallots in my eyes. So, Nick bought this book today. So, the pocket encyclopedia of aggravation 97 things that annoy, bother, chafe, disturb, frustrate, grate, peeve, trouble, basically. So I'm just going to randomly open one and see what your opinions are. Right? What your eyes? What? If I can see. What in for? <laughs> Have I been helping? Oh right, yeah. Page 31. Biscuit mush at the bottom of your mug. Oh yeah. Oh no no. Can't be doing with that. I don't dunk biscuits anymore, and it makes me panic when I see somebody else dunking biscuits because I know it's too long, it's too long, it's too long, and then they pull it out and it just plops, and the whole cup of tea is then ruined. And Lee does that. Leaves it into the very last minute. Yeah, very annoying. I do. Aeroplane leg room or the seat in the back of your face. Oh yeah, that's a bit. Back of the seat, yeah. That is a bit. <laughs> and what always makes me laugh with Nick. I'm crying. What always makes me laugh with Nick is he loves putting his seat back in, aer in an aeroplane, fully back. But then if the person in front puts their seat back by a millimetre, Nick's like, <laughs> like banging on the seat. Isn't that right? No. Yes, it well is. No, it does not. You live I don't do that. Yeah. So it is annoying, but. If you want to lie down, you want to lie down, you know. We're going home for my dad's birthday tomorrow. We're going out for a meal, actually, to a nice restaurant. Nick's mum is going to be there as well. There's going to be about 18 people to take the camera, and I shall vlog that. We're going to enjoy this meal now, and then we are going to the pub. Are you going to give this book away? Well, I've read it, maybe. Nick's going to read this book, and then we're going to give it to one of our patrons called Jeff in Detroit. Hi, Jeff. 
Um, Jeff would definitely appreciate the cover. every single page of this book. Get, read one out and do you think Jeff would be annoyed by it? Right, hold on. Jeff's very much like Nick. Alright, here we go. Toilet seat left up. I imagine Jeff would be very Jeff would be really annoyed with that. Yeah. Right, yeah. so hold on. Hi Jeff. Anything to do with children, that would annoy him. Public transport. <gasps> I can't imagine Jeff on public transport. Me neither. <laughs> Noise. Yeah, from children especially. Yeah, or his neighbours. So if, um, once Nick's read that, we're going to send it to Jeff. And also over here, speaking of patrons, I've got the Yankee Candle burning nicely there, which we got from Chris and Justine. Right, so we're finally going to make this Rudolph gin that we got in the book that Mark and Stephen kindly sent us. It's pretty easy. Yeah, so... 60ml so, of gin, so a double shot. Oops. Double shot of gin. We're just using a London Dry. Just a standard London Dry. It's a Bombay Sapphire Special Edition, actually. And then thanks to Steph, Another patron of ours, we got the elderflower liqueur. So this is 30 mil, so it's basically a shot and a bit. That's because Nick's cooking! Uh, you've turned <laughs> into the kitchen and suddenly that's gone off. <laughs> oh, that's that's smoking a bit. Nick's burning the tea. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I've done nothing. You walked into the kitchen, literally, and the smoke alarm went off. The Nick's in the kitchen alarm is going off. Back to this. So thanks Morning. to Steph, we're putting the elderflower liqueur in. She bought us that. You may have seen us open it on Christmas Eve. Thank you, Steph. Right, we'll have to do this quickly before the smoke yep. alarm goes off again. And then instead of using tonic water, you top it up with Prosecco. Yep. And then you're actually supposed to put red currants on, but we had a bit of a trouble finding red currants. We couldn't currants get all the red currants. Anywhere. So instead of red currants, we've gone for pomegranate um, bits. Let's do it quickly before quick, it goes quick, off again. again. Just a handful. Oh, they're supposed to float, but never well, mind. Red currants would have floated, I think. So, cheers to Mark and Stephen. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers to Steph for cheers. the elder power. <laughs> cheers to Steph. Um, liqueur. And uh, let's try, taste it. Mmm. We well, can definitely taste the uh, the elderflower and the prosecco. Mmm. Lovely it's that. got an odd taste at first, but I like it. It's, yeah, it's very refreshing. That's the elderflower. Right, so we're going to have this um, tea, and then if we can be bothered after a couple of these, we're going to walk across to the pub and uh, see who's in. So we're in the pub, and there's a singer behind me setting up. Huh? Oh. So there's a singer behind me setting up. I'm watching Sue's Vlogmas Day video, Christmas Day video. Little bits of New York. Yeah, hi Sue. Hi Sue. I'm watching your Christmas Day video. I've been just talking to her on comments. Yeah. They're just having so. Christmas dinner. I can just eat Christmas dinner Sue's actually. I'm quite hungry. Go check that video out. Oh, oh just See, Lee is very impressed with this singer. Look at the face. You also can't hear what I'm saying. So I'm not sure whether you will be able to hear me or not, but. We're sat with our friends Ari and Sarah and the guy singing Queen amongst other things. Oh, they're talking about me now. Sarah, her there, she's a coward. She won't get up and dance with me. Get out of that bed and finish this vlog, you lazy shit. I don't think so. You don't think so? We've been to the pub. I've been dancing. I've had a few red wines. I've chilled out for Christmas. Christmas is over now. Harry Hermit's in bed here. 
Uh, is it 11 o'clock at night? No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's still early. So, uh, if you're not already tickle a subscriber, me air. tickle me air. Click on the subscribe button Oi. to join a lodger. Look at subscribing. Tickle me air. And see you tomorrow. Oh, aren't you, unpleasant? <laughs> Do me air. Tickle me air. Go on. The hands are under blankets, I'm afraid. Then get them out. See you tomorrow. We're going so, home tomorrow. So, as Lee said, if you are a subs if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button below. Click the little um, thumbs up button if you like our videos, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you get alerted when our new videos go live. And if you've not already checked it out, check out our Vlogmas video, especially our best of Vlogmas, which is a bit of a summary of all our videos. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.